Hi, I'm Irene, 25, and an office worker. I'd like to share this story with you to raise awareness and to always be cautious with your surroundings. One day, I sat on the pavement waiting for Lily. She's my friend. She was taking a lot of time to come pick me up. Then, I noticed a car parked on the other side of the road. I got the suspicious vibes when I glanced at it. The second I looked, it left. That was odd, I said to myself. I tried to calm my nerves after all that bone-cracking work I've done all week long. Lately, I've been very busy in the office, and I was taking all of my strength. I was losing energy. Not to mention feeling angry and tired all the time. I wanted to quit my job and to start a new one. I was very deep in my thoughts when Lily stopped in front of me. She smiled and said, Hey, sorry you got into some traffic on the way. It's alright, I replied. I stood up, went to the passenger seat door and opened it, but with much more force than I had intended to. Dumping my bag on the side and threw myself onto the seat. Hey, is everything alright? Lily seemed worried. I looked at her and tried to smile. Yeah, just too tired after all that work. I nodded and said, Yeah, it's a lot of work at my office too. Wanna grab a drink? I looked at the car apart far from us. Sure. Lily drove towards her favorite cafe. She looked for a parking spot that was not very hard at this time of the day. We walked towards the cafe and ordered our usual. The waitress, Naomi, like always, sat beside us for a drink, since there were no other customers. So how was life? Luckily, Naomi never asked about work. All I talked about was life, the city, and odd customers. We talked about everyday stuff. Trying to forget about work and other troubles of life, I laughed the loudest at jokes and spoke more than the other two. After we were done with our drinks, we said our goodbyes and walked to the car. As I sat in the car, I immediately saw the same old modeled SUV parked. Something wrong? Lily asked. I, I looked at her, and she was looking at me with eyes filled with concern. Nothing. Let's go. I need some sleep. Maybe that's all. We both went home, and in no time, I found myself lying on my bed and trying to sleep. I found it hard to sleep. Just an hour ago, I've been dying to lie on my bed, but now that I was, it was hard for me to sleep. So I went to the kitchen to make something for myself, since I felt really hungry at the time. While I was looking around in the fridge, I glanced at the window and froze. The same silver old modeled SUV was parked right in front of my house. I was sure that was the very same car. Was it following me? Why would anyone follow me? Maybe I was just overthinking and it was just a coincidence. Yet this has happened three times in a row, which was very alarming. I hurriedly ate my food and went back to the window and saw that the car had gone. I didn't know what it was, but it can't always be a coincidence. I know that someone's stalking me, but I tried to shrug it off since I still have work for tomorrow. I walked back to my bed and went to sleep. The next day, I walked on the pavement waiting for Lily to arrive when a car stopped in front of me. Hello ma'am, do you need a ride? I thought it was very creepy, so I denied it. I didn't even get the chance to see the guy's face. Not long after, Lily arrived and the guy drove off. I ran to her car but froze only to realize that it was the same SUV. I didn't notice it at first, and this time, it wasn't just a coincidence. I really was being stalked by someone, but who? Hello, or do Irene, or do Irene? All of a sudden, I came to my senses and realized that Lily had been shouting at me. Yeah, sorry, I kind of dozed off. Lily looked at me with concern and said, What is it this time? I looked at her, trying to hide my fear. What? Lily rolled her eyes and said, 
You know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been acting strange recently. I looked outside and said, it's honestly nothing. I just couldn't sleep last night. I don't think you want to be late, so let's hurry up and go. Lily started the car and drove towards the office. The whole day, I felt scared and was deep in my thoughts about that silver SUV. How long had it been stalking me? I didn't know. But it felt like it had been doing that for quite a long time. Now, wherever I look, I could see the silver SUV. I knew I was just overthinking, and it could still be a coincidence. I had not even seen the car well enough this morning. Maybe it had been some other car with the same color. Maybe it had not even been silver at all. I knew I was just being overly concerned about something that didn't even exist. I started to work again and typed on whatever I had to do. I did my work and tried not to go back to thinking about it. But somehow, paranoia just started to grow inside me. What if he was someone very dangerous? What if he broke into my house and waited for me there? What if he wanted to steal from my house while I was at work? Or what if he wanted to kill me? Many thoughts came to my mind and I tried to ignore them all. But again, I would start thinking about the same thing. Fortunately, I somehow managed to complete my tasks by the end of the day. That same day, I left the work earlier and called Lily to tell her about that. I went to the same pavement where I always waited for Lily. The evening was a cloudy dull one that increased my anxiety. I was trying not to think about anything and scrolled down on my Instagram when a blue sedan stopped right in front of me. Hey, Irene, right? I'm Lily's cousin, Billy. She's busy, so she told me to pick you up since I was passing by the area. Come on, get in. I was so confused why she didn't mention anything about her being busy. If she was busy, she would have told me. Irene, are we going? I've got to be somewhere too, you know? I nodded and walked towards the other side of the car when it struck me. Irene's cousin, Billy, had left for a vacation just a week ago. Lily had told me about that. Billy had never picked her up, but I've seen his picture once. And now that I thought about it, this guy did not resemble him at all. I stopped at the back of the car and was thinking what to do when he called me. Irene, everything alright back there? My heart was beating very fast as I was confused about what to do. Should I run and later call the police, I thought. I turned on the camera of my phone and started recording. I recorded the license plate of the car and then walked to the driver's side, making sure he came in the video. I think I'll take a taxi. You can go ahead. He looked in the mirror of the car and then at me. But Lily told me to pick you up no matter what. Please get in or she's going to be mad. I paused for a moment because I didn't know exactly what to say to get rid of him. I then blurted out, Lily would have called me if she was busy. I walked back onto the pavement to be as far from him as possible. And anyways, her cousin isn't here in the city. He was about to say something when Lily arrived. I ran towards her car and got into it. The sedan drove off right away. Who was that? Who was that guy and why did you seem so scared? I tried to calm myself while she gave me some water. I don't know who that was, but I think he's been following me for quite a long time. We we need to call the police. We need to call the police. Lily took her phone out and called the police, who arrived within 10 minutes. I explained everything to them and gave them the video that had the guy's face and the car's license plate on it. The police left after some investigation. After that, we drove to the cafe where Naomi worked. Thank God you were smart enough to not get inside that car, said Naomi looking at me from head to toe. You are fine, right? I smiled at her and said, yep, I'm fine. Dodged a close call too. I actually feel better than normal now. I was lucky enough to use my brain or else I would have gone with him. Lily had not spoken much and had been worried the whole time. She had been insisting on taking me to her place for safety 
until the guy was caught. I've accepted the offer as I knew that Lily would keep badging me to death till I would say yes. Well, I hope he doesn't find out Lily's place, said Naomi. I nodded at her and said, Yeah, but if he knew her cousin Billy, what else do you think would stop him from finding out her house? I think he knows her address too. We drank our coffee and stayed a little bit longer than usual to calm Lily's nerves. She was easy to scare after all. We were about to leave when Lily received a call. It was the police and they had caught him. The next day, they found out that the guy was a serial killer and killed women for fun. He would do some deep research about them and find their everyday spots and stalk them everywhere. When he finally had the chance to get them, he would take them to his house that was outside of the city. He had been following me for about a month now and had been changing cars very often. He would sell one car and buy another one so that he wouldn't get caught. It turned out that he also had an old model silver SUV that he had just sold yesterday in order to buy the sedan. I felt lucky that I had been smart enough to think and not just go with him, otherwise they would not be able to find me, ever. I would just remain a mystery. Even years after that, I would get goosebumps thinking about that incident and the fact that I had only been a moment away from death if I had entered the car. Our official merch store is finally here. If you want to support more of our channel, check out our merch shop. The link is in the description down below. See you on the next video.